This video is made possible by Dehancer. Hello guys, Softoni here and welcome back to my channel and today we will be exploring the Dehancer plugin for After Effects, a powerful tool for emulating classic film looks. This plugin is ideal for anyone looking to add a cinematic, vintage feel to their digital footage. So let's dive in and take a closer look at what it offers. Alright, we're here in After Effects and to kick things off, let's say a few words about the Hanser plugin and what it brings to the table. This plugin is a film emulation plugin for After Effects and other editing software that mimics the look of analog film. Also it offers a range of tools that replicate the color science and grain of classic film stocks, helping users achieving a vintage, cinematic look in their video projects. The Hanser is really popular among creators who want to add a unique, organic aesthetics to their work, whether it's for nostalgic vibes, cinematic effects, or simply a more textured looks in their videos. Now just make sure that you have the Hanser plugin installed and after installing open After Effects and apply the Hanser up to your footage. You can find this plugin under Effects and Preset by searching for the Hanser and just dragging it onto your clip. These plugins offer a variety of tools that make your footage look like real film and here are the main sections that will go through in this tutorial. First part here is input and this is where we start. Here you can adjust the source settings of your footage like exposure and color temperature also to prepare it for the film emulation process. Adjusting the input settings ensures that the enhancer interprets your footage correctly. Next is film and this section allows us to choose from various film stocks each with a unique color profile and tonal quality. For example we have options that mimics Kodak, Fuji and other classic films brands and selecting a film stock is the core of achieving a particular film look. Next section is film developer section and this one let us control how the virtual film is developed and here you can adjust contrast, push or pull processing and other parameters to get desired intensity and tonal range. Next one is film compression and this one controls how highlights and shadows are handled similar to how film naturally responds to light. And also adjusting these settings helps protect detail in bright or dark areas giving a softer roll off and more filmic response to light. Expand section is next section here and this feature allows you to control the black and white points of your footage also helping define the overall contrast and dynamic range. Expanding your footage can give it a punchy look and also soft contrast depending on your project. The next step print section simulates the film print process which is a significant step in creating the final filmic look. Also applies color and tonal adjustments to give a cinematic vibe much like how physical film is transferred onto print. Here in the next section is color head and this lets you adjust the color tones by modifying red, green and blue intensities and also mimics the color grading process in traditional analog film workflows allowing for precise color adjustments. Next one is film grain and this adds texture to your footage to emulate real film grain and here you can also adjust the size, amount and softness of the grain. Adding grain is one of the best ways to make digital footage look organic. Halation creates a red glow around high contrast edges simulating how light bleeds into the film emulsion. Increasing these effects add a subtle but impactful layer of intensity and also especially in bright areas. The next section here is Bloom. Bloom softens highlights and creates a gentle glow and this option is especially useful for making skin tones and outdoor shot look more cinematic and warm. The next one is Film Damage. Film Damage introduces scratches, dust and other imperfections that are common in all film footages. Next section is Film Breed section and this option simulates the slight exposure variation that happens from frame to frame in real film. Film Breed adds a subtle flickering feel to your footage making it look more like it was shot on real film stock. The next option here is gate weave and this one replicates the slight movement or shaking that occurs with film strips inside the projector. It's really a small detail but adding just a touch of gate weave can make your footage feel more alive and authentic. Next one is overscan and this shows the film border around your footage giving a view into the edges and imperfections. And also this option is great if you want a raw, unprocessed film look. 
Next one is vignette and these features add a soft adjustable vignette around the edges and also focusing attention toward the center of the frame. Next section here is monitor, the monitor section provides tools for monitoring colors, contrast and other visual characteristics. And also helps you to check that everything looks accurate, especially if you're working with color critical projects. Output section lets you fine tune the final appearances of your footage before export, adjust the intensity of the effects or the overall exposure here to the perfect final look. Next one is loot generator and if you want to save your color settings as a loot to apply elsewhere, the loot generator is where you can do it. This is useful if you want to keep the same look across multiple projects or software. So each of these settings adds an extra layer of control over how your footage looks, allowing you to capture every characteristic of analog film. And the combination of all of these features make a dehancer a truly outstanding plugin for film emulation, letting you create that nostalgic cinematic look with ease. And also if you're interested in trying out the Dehancer plugin, check out the link in the video description for more details on how you can get it. And thanks so much for watching and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye!